Today's lesson is Earth System. This is an Earth and Space Science lesson. Students, this is our learning objective. Please follow along while I read it. Describe the Earth System. Your turn. Describe the Earth System. Describe means to tell about. So we are going to tell about the Earth System. Now students, look at my picture here. I have a seedling, which is a tiny little plant that came from a seed. Now students, let's read the question. Ready? Read. What does a seedling need to grow? So students, if there's someone next to you, why don't you go ahead and talk to them. If you're by yourself, then think. What does a seedling need to grow? Okay, go ahead and think about it. So students, did you see my picture? Do you notice that we had sunlight? We also had water and we had soil or the dirt. Well, students, you already know that plants don't grow by themselves. They need all of these things to work together so that they can grow. Well, today we will find that we call these things the Earth system. All right, students, let's take a look at the definition of an Earth system. I'll read it first. You follow along. The Earth system is divided into four spheres. Now your turn. Ready, read. The Earth system is divided into four spheres. So students, the word divided really means separate or we split up. So what we're really saying is the Earth system is split up or separated into four spheres. And spheres means sections. So let's look at the four sections. The first one is hydrosphere. Can you say that with me? Hydrosphere. Let's read it together. Ready? Go. The hydrosphere is all the water. And that's where we get the word hydro from. Hydro means water. Let's look at the second one. This word is geosphere. Let's read it. Ready? Go. The geosphere includes landforms, rocks, and soils. So geo really means earth. So geosphere is earth. That includes landforms, rocks, and soils. The other one is atmosphere. Let's read it. Ready? Read. The atmosphere is the air around the earth. So we would talk about atmos. We're talking about air. And finally, the biosphere. Let's read it. Ready? Go. The biosphere is where all plants and animals live. And bio means life. So students, we're talking about where all life live. So they're divided or separated into four spheres. Let's read those again. Ready? Go. Hydrosphere. Geosphere. Atmosphere and biosphere. Now students, I have a question for you. Let's read this together. What type of earth system is this? Look at my picture. And when you explain, please answer in a complete sentence. This type of earth system is blank because we have A, hydrosphere, or B, geosphere. So students, did you choose B, geosphere? Well, you're correct. Remember, a geosphere includes landforms like rocks and soil. And this looks like a big rock. So students, the answer is B. So now let's answer this question. This type of Earth system is B, geosphere, because it includes rocks and soil. Now students, let's read this one more time together. Ready? Read. The Earth system is divided or separated into four spheres. That means four different parts. Let's take a look. We have the atmosphere, which is air, the hydrosphere, which is water, the geosphere, which is the Earth, and students, the biosphere. 
This is where all the animals live. So the biosphere include animals that live in the water, animals that live in the air, animals that live on the earth, and animals that live under the earth. Take a look at my picture here and try to find out where does the mouse live? There's the mouse. So the mouse lives in the geosphere. Now students, let's go ahead and read this one more time together. Ready? Read. The Earth's system is divided into four spheres. That means they're separated into four different parts. So students, remember, hydrosphere, water, geosphere, earth, atmosphere, air, biosphere, where plants and animals live. Take a look at my picture over here. Let's read this together. Ready? Read. What type of earth system is this? And explain. Remember, you're going to answer in a complete sentence and your choices are A, atmosphere, or B, biosphere. So students, did you choose B, biosphere? Correct. That's because biosphere is where all plants and animals live. We have both plants and animals. So now let's read the answer. The type of earth system is B, biosphere because it is where all animals and plants live. Now students, I want you to go ahead and look at this. Look at my pictures and then I want us to read together. The spheres are constantly interacting with each other. Interacting means that they need each other. They work together. So interact means to work together. Look at this example. The hydrosphere, say it with me, hydrosphere interacts with the geosphere. That means the water and the land, the rocks, they work together. They interact. Now, students, let's look at the atmosphere and the biosphere. The birds need air to fly and breathe. So the atmosphere and where the animals live, the biosphere, they work together. They are interacting with each other. Now, students, I have a question for you. Which two spheres are interacting? And then explain. When we explain, we're going to answer in a complete sentence right here. Your choices are A or B. Think about the answer. So students, did you choose A, biosphere and geosphere? That's right. We have an animal living right here. That is a plant and animal and it's interacting with the soil or with the earth. So students, A is the correct answer. So let's answer our question. A, biosphere and geosphere are interacting because worms live in soil. They interact. Now students, we have another one here. This is an earth system that is using geosphere and hydrosphere. And then we have hydrosphere and atmosphere. So let's read this together. Geosphere, hydrosphere. Let's read. Ready, read. Mountains block rain, so one side of the mountain is dry. Now let's do hydrosphere and atmosphere. Ready, read. Ocean fog forms when warm, moist air moves over colder water. These are two examples of spheres that are interacting with each other. Let's put it all together. What did you learn about describing the Earth system? And when you answer the question, please use words like interacting, atmosphere, biosphere, geosphere, hydrosphere, divided. All right, in a complete sentence, what did you learn about describing the Earth system? So students, 
is your answer something like this, that the Earth system is broken into four spheres. They're divided, and those are atmosphere, biosphere, geosphere, and hydrosphere, and they interact with each other. Now we're going to do the listening part of our lesson. I will read the passage aloud. I need you to listen very carefully, and I want you to think about this question that I'm going to ask. So, listen carefully as I read. The four major spheres of the Earth system are all connected and work in harmony to make the planet function properly. So here's my question. Ready? Read. What is the purpose of the Earth system? Is it A, to define our world? B, to make the planet function properly? Or is it C, to keep things alive? Think about it. Students, did you choose B to make the planet function properly? Well, that's correct. The four spheres of the Earth system are all connected and they work in harmony to make the planet function properly or correctly. Now, students, I'm going to read another passage. This was a little bit longer, so I need you to spend a little bit more attention on this one. And then we're going to ask this question. The four spheres are not static. That means they are constantly changing. For example, the atmosphere does not produce the same weather every day. Living things in the biosphere are born and then they die. The geosphere can have volcanic eruptions or earthquakes. These changes are called cycles. A cycle is something that never stops. An example is the water cycle. Rain falls and flows into rivers and seas. It evaporates. It forms rain clouds and falls again. So students, here's my question. What is a cycle? A, something that never stops. B, something that goes around in circles. Or C, anything that changes. Think about the answer. So students, did you choose A, something that never stops? That's correct. Remember, a cycle goes on over and over and over, and it keeps going and doesn't stop. 